It's going live. We're live. Oh. <laughs> All right, hey guys. Um, Bonnie here, and I'm with my sister Hannah, and we're like just trying to set up. We were outside <laughs> first because it's a gorgeous day, and then of course it was like windy, and I wanted to make windy. sure you guys can hear. Yeah, and so we just moved in here quickly, and then we realized we don't have the best lighting. So anyway, hopefully you can see us. Hopefully you can hear us. Hopefully we're sideways. We're supposed to be sideways. Hey guys, morning. Can you guys let us know if we're sideways? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey guys. Okay, so we're just gonna go right into it. So my sister Hannah is engaged, and I'm just super excited for her. And we just went to her shower over the weekend, and then I brought her home with me, and so she's staying with us for a few days. And we were just like ch chatting all about oils. Okay, so Mandy, we're the right way, right? So we're horizontal, you can see it perfectly. Okay, good. Sometimes when I do these, it's the wrong way. So we were talking about oils because she asked me if I can get her oils for her wedding <laughs> gift. Like, don't which, give me anything off my registry, just oils. <laughs> which is awesome, it's perfect, because that's what I wanted to get her anyway. And I'm just super pumped. And so as we were talking about oils and getting started, especially like a newlywed, bringing oils into her home, um, yeah, it's not too bright. Okay, perfect. Um, I just thought this would be a great video because other people are, are probably asking the same questions or they're wondering, okay, I just brought these oils into my house and now what do I do with them? So I'm just gonna quickly like go through the oils like with her and you guys can listen in and see like what I would do with a new person and um, you guys can learn too because sometimes you go to a class or you read online and then you you get home and you get your kit and then you're like, oh my gosh, like what do I do? So that's gonna be me. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. She she, you know, this is unscripted. We're just kind of going with it and and then I'll see if you guys have any questions too. So but the first thing is I was gonna ask her and she's nervous about being online, so give her support and love <laughs> and lots of likes and hearts. Um but what and she she's used a few oils over the years, but what made you wanna like bring oils into your home as you start your family? Um, well, yeah, because like, we're getting married and I kind of want just all like natural stuff in our house. Like, um, I don't want any like toxins or anything, just all natural things coming into the home and I don't want to be around anything gross and they smell good and yes. <laughs> they're useful. Right, and so you have a diffuser in your room right now and yeah. what, do you, what do you like to diffuse? Um, what oils do you like to use like right now? Well, I like to like make my room smell fresh. I use like the citrus oils mm -hmm. and then um, my favorite one is like when I'm like not feeling that well is like breathe mm -hmm. like because that helps me sleep a ton mm -hmm. <laughs> and like awesome. I like it's like right next to my bed I'm like help me sleep <laughs> awesome I love that one and you also like Slim and Sassy oh Slim and Sassy is my favorite one in the morning <laughs> and what do you <laughs> like night. what do you do with it I'm mostly so I use it a lot like this past winter um, in tea and I put oh like, okay okay so should tell them your recipe oh my tea recipe is just hot water lemon juice, like fresh lemon or just like concentrated lemon, and then um, this lemon sassy, that's it. Okay, cool, and how many drafts? Like, I think you told me before, like three. Okay, or... yeah, if you're doing the protocol, like three drafts, three times a day is like the best if you're doing like the whole like metabolism boost protocol. Mm -hmm. And my box over there, I actually got more lemon sassy, so okay. you, can make, you can make both of us tea. We can even do a video about it and how we do that. Uh, okay, cool. So she got the top 10 oils in her in her package. So I'm just going to quickly go through them um, because she said she's like, oh, I already forgot all the things of what you're supposed to do. So first of all, the diffuser. Th this is my old diffuser. So her actual kit is at her house. And so, um, but the new ones are brown and they go for longer. So um, this is the four hour one with the pedal diffuser, but the other one I think goes to 10 hours. So the new diffuser is awesome. Or you can get any diffuser that you like that looks good in your home, but um, that one comes in the home essential kit. Okay, so I'm just gonna go, uh, you know, I'll do the single oils first and then I'll do the blend oils. So the first oil is frankincense. Okay, have you used frankincense at all I yet? Okay, it. so. Grandma likes that one. Okay, yeah, so my grandma loves the oils too and she uses it on her legs because um, she has some issues. So I've been using this. So this will come in handy probably shortly after your wedding when you get pregnant. <laughs> this is really good for pregnancy masks. So it's like, I don't know if you guys can see this lighting, but I do get that. 
Um, and so rosehip oil and frankincense together are really good. And staying out of the sun, obviously, that was my bad thing. The sun brings it out. But then you, I just mix it with a moisturizer or your rosehip oil, and you put it all over your face. And you can see, you know, some of the, the mask. Can you see that? It's like, the, of like flashy. the flashy. Yeah, yeah that's the, the pregnancy brown. mask. Yeah. So this is huge for that. I'm also rubbing it on my belly. Because if you guys don't know, I'm pregnant. So I, like, take coconut oil, and I'll rub it all over my belly, and that helps with stretch marks. So this will come in handy for your future. Um, and then other things like anytime you're feeling under the weather or anything like this will boost any blend that you make. It's good to like put a drop under the tongue if you're hardcore in the mornings and just when is it like really strong. Yeah, it's I just the way I describe it is like a it smells. I mean you've smelled it before, but it's like an antique shop. Oh yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this one I already opened because I used like every drop, but mm. oh hey Claire. Yay! Um, so one drop at a time is good, but this one is a good, good one just because it just makes everything stronger, helps with the skin, and um, everybody needs this in their arsenal. Okay, so lemon is one of my most used oils, and actually um, Dan likes it too. Her fiance is Dan, and he likes to put the oils. He's living with us right now here, <laughs> and he likes to put the lemon in his water too. So give me your water, and then. We like to just put in like one or two drops in our water. You have to use the glass, right? Yes, yeah, so glass, stainless steel, um, mm -hmm. no plastic. And then I use this first thing in the morning. Like I have a quart, um, the mason jars. Like I love the mason jars. And then I'll put one or two drops in my water every single morning before my coffee. So I come downstairs, that is what I do. And now I've got like Scott hooked to doing it. And just a good way to balance the pH and helps with digestion, and it just like makes you chug a quart of water fast. Especially when you know you might not want to taste the water, it's good. So I'm gonna have a sip. Claire does that too. Do you still do it with hot water? Because you can do it with hot water or yeah, cold I like water. It. I like it with tea in the morning, like hot. Yeah. Yeah. I into with tea. If I had more time in the morning, that's what I do. But I'm like rushing usually, so I don't have time to like make tea and coffee. But anyway. <laughs> So, oh, also DIY cleaners and everything like that. Lemon is amazing for like so many things, but my best thing is putting it in water and just drinking it like all day. And then any other citrus, diffusing it. Okay, so lavender is another one of our favorite oils. And I was actually just taking Hannah through my house and I feel <laughs> like that would be another video that would be awesome. But once I get more organized, since we just moved here like seven weeks ago maybe, um, we keep one of the lavender oils, actually we have two bottles in our, like under our range, we have, um, or the cooktop, we have a drawer, it's in there. So in my old house, I just had in my cabinet right next to my oven, but basically, like this is an oil we use for so many things. We have a couple in our house, but when you need it, you need it. So like when I burn myself cooking, or- I'm gonna need it for my curling iron. <laughs> yeah, curling iron, if you do that, if you like, get your neck or something, like you just wanna put it on right away so like when i'm cooking and i like burn my arm or taking something out of the oven um, i just put it on um we call it like neat or straight like you don't need any dilution you just put it on and like rub it in and it's amazing so this you probably need one in your kitchen and in your bathroom yes, we're working on the whole cooking thing <laughs> yes you're gonna be cooking for your man yeah so and the other thing i like to do is lavender there's so many things but like my kids you don't have kids yet but you go out um, they're constantly getting mosquito bites, so exactly. this will, will like help, after they get a bite, it will just kind of soothe the itch and the redness and bring it down and they love it. And all things for skin. Like, have you ever done like a bumblebee bites? Is that, that Yeah, I would do Melaleuca and lavender together for that. Or tea tree, they just changed the name, so it's a tea tree oil. But yeah, so any kind of insect bites, it's awesome. Any skin baths, so like DIY bath, I'd put like five to ten drops in your bath with Epsom salt and baking soda, and it's like the best like relaxation, and just diffusing it to give that pretty smell. And this could mix well with the citrus also. So, and if you guys are listening, share what you're using the oils for too. So Claire said she got a curling wand, and it was and learning, it was a learning curve. It's far far away, so I'm having a hard time reading it. 
Um, so she's a lavender lot in the beginning for her burns. Yeah. That's going to be me. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I know how to use a lot of curling iron, just, it, you burn yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I should have done my hair for the video, but did not. Okay. Um, okay, tea tree. So the old bottles say Maluka, but it's tea tree also. And this is one of the other oils that we go through like crazy. So the top three oils like that are sold usually, the top three oils, like we're going through the top 10, but the top three would be, um, uh, oh, actually it's not Maluka, sorry. It's it lavender, not. lemon, and peppermint. But I, I would actually say this is one of the top. <laughs> Just for our family, because again, after they get bug bites, which we have like a lot of land and the boys are out and like way too late in the summer, like 10 o'clock sometimes, and they come in and um, sometimes they don't use the, you know, the terra shield, sometimes they do, but anyway, they're covered, so they get <laughs> lavender and tea tree, but also my kids are, I have two kids, and like, your face is like beautiful, but if you ever get like a zit, <laughs> you just take one drop and like put it right on that drop, or right on your zit, and it just helps um, just get rid of it, like zaps yeah, it out. I remember you telling me and Rochelle, our sister, that trick, and we do that at home. Yeah, <laughs> she did, it, did it work? Yeah. Yep. And then I would say Purify is another oil that is like stronger than this, if you if this is like not strong enough. But my kids have this in their bathroom. I have it in my bathroom. It's like just good for spot treatment of your face, but it's a skin oil. So cuts, bruises, acne, um, gosh, so many things. So anyway, those are our top top things that I'm using it for. Okay, so oregano, this one is good for, like, this is like the big Mac Daddy, like you don't bring it out unless you need the big guns. This is like, if you're sick or under the weather, oregano, okay. this is like what you would pull out when, like you're, you're either, you've been by someone and you don't want to catch what they had or you already have it. Like this is not one you use every day, okay? okay? Um, and this I would use, Ideally, like, okay, first of all, you have to use it diluted, so this is a hot oil. It's too strong. You have to use coconut oil, or any carrier oil, but coconut oil is my favorite. And then on the bottom of the feet only, or if you don't want to smell like a pizza, or like Italian <laughs> cooking or something, um, in a veggie cap. And okay. I should have brought those out to show you, but I have them in my kitchen, I can show you later. But you just like, open a veggie cap, you put in a couple of drops, and then you swallow it. Okay, mm -hmm. you close it up and swallow it, and then you won't smell is like it too oil. strong to... Do you cook with that one? Oh, and then I cook with it, but um, only like one drop, like for you and Dan, like one drop is the most you would use. Like some people like, like they- Accidentally put like two- This, yeah, it'd be like, you will, that would be a good like um, medicinal spaghetti <laughs> sauce or something, whatever you make. Uh, you can even take a toothpick, put it in there, and then just like take the toothpick and stir it into your oh, sauce. Wow. But like for our family of six, I'll do one or two drops for like, double or triple recipe of sauce okay. and um and the kids do like it um and they're used to it because i do it in, in all of our stuff okay i want to come back to that that um comment okay so i use this with my autoimmune issue a lot so this is one of the ones i use the most like when, especially when i was getting started with doTERRA but it's this bottle will probably last you forever like okay. your whole life and the oils last you like they'll last longer than you will last so, um, this they say the only like expiration really on an oil would be the citrus oils is about three years, but we no, go through like them. Go through we more. go through them so fast. Yeah, it wouldn't even be an issue. You just don't put them on your windowsill, like in the sun, even though it looks cute. I hope you guys can see that. Don't leave them out in the sunlight. Like keep them in cabinets or someplace like out of the direct sunlight. Don't keep them in your car in like the heat. Um, just you know take care of your oils these are like an investment into your health into your family and they will last a long time so they um, they dug up Egyptian tombs right they were like thousands of years old and they were buried with their oils <laughs> because one like they believed that whatever they were buried with they get to keep that in the afterlife so that was how important oils were to them okay um, but they, they found them thousands of years later and they were still potent because they, they're just like, you know, they're last. All of our oils are um, steam distilled, except for the citrus, they're uh, cold pressed from the rind. Okay. So basically it's like the best sourcing. We're not gonna go into sourcing in this video, but um, you, if you go online and you watch, 
on doTERRA's website. They have healing hands and they're sourcing like, you're gonna be crying. And I'm not even saying that because I'm pregnant and emotional. <laughs> Um, the what they do and what they're doing for the farmers around the world and women getting out of the sex trade they like help get them out and they give them jobs and um, just the co-impact sourcing that they're doing it's just amazing so that's like another reason why I chose doTERRA just because you know they're making a difference in the world and I, I believe one these are God's gifts to us doTERRA means gift from the earth but we were, we were just talking like I'm like you know what God gave us all these these plants and he wants us to use them, right? And our body recognizes them. And anyway, and then we're helping the whole world. So anyway, that's a whole other thing, but I'm passionate about that too. Okay, so peppermint, one of the other top oils. <sighs> I'm like talking so fast here. Okay, so we use this oil, gosh, I just like diffusing it mostly because it just smells so good. Yeah, you know, sometimes I'll put it a good drop into the water to give it some, um, you oh. know, freshness this is I grabbed this this is one of the the gifts I don't know if you guys can see it says meant to be so at her bachelor at party my other sister made the soup like super cute um, little you know party favors and she had meant to be spray and you can put peppermint in here or spearmint I'm gonna make your own like a little breast spray do you want some <laughs> it actually is really good and so I also like to put it a couple of drops into my lip gloss, right? And then it like plumps your lips up and um, it's a natural, you know, mint in there and it just smells good. What else? There's so many things that I like to do with the peppermint. Peppermint brownies when you're cooking. Peppermint in your coffee. Yeah, thanks Monica. Especially in Christmas, I like to do it. We call it Christmas in a cup. Oh, I love peppermint so, like, coffee. Yep, yeah, one drop is all you need for like a mug. Like you, it, it, like a little bit goes a long way. So anyway, peppermint. I'm like, there's so many other things to do with the peppermint, but oh, digestion, it will help with your digestion too. Okay, so I, that's it for the single oils. So these are the single oils, and I'm going to talk about doTERRA's blends. So they have their proprietary pri 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 blends that basically they're special blends that you cannot get anywhere else. That they made them, they're special, and their recipe is unique for doTERRA. So the first one, breathe, which you already know. So tell them again how you use it. Um, that one I use when like I like congested or like can't breathe well at mm -hmm. night and then I diffuse it and it really helps me like be able to like sleep throughout the whole night and not like waking up and like blowing my nose or like <laughs> right. coughing. Right. Yeah. Um, and this one is good for, you don't have any allergies or anything, do you? I don't think so. No, no. it's just good to, to uh, open the airways. This one is awesome if you have any... Um, how do I say it? Like respiratory issues, right? <laughs> Seasonal threats, that kind of thing that's coming in and attacking you or your children or your family. You can put a drop on your chest and rub it in, put it on the bottom of the feet before you go to bed, diffuse it. Diffusing this with lavender or serenity is beautiful at night because it will help you have that good night's sleep. A lot of women that I talk to, they're, they will diffuse this on their husband's side of the bed if he snores and then it will help him with the snoring and then she gets a good night's sleep. So that's like a good trick. <laughs> good to know. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, this is one of Scott's first oils that he tried. I, I just came back from Utah and I was like, I gotta learn about these oils, you know, I gotta figure this out. And I said, just try. He was like, you know, couldn't breathe and we were driving and I said, just try it. And so he put a drop in his hand, he breathed it in. I said, just breathe it in 10 times because I still didn't even know what I was doing at that time. And <laughs> in like a couple minutes, he's like, Wow, it's like I could breathe, like that stuff actually worked. So this is like a good um, oil if you're like a skeptic and you're not really sure, you know, if they work, you get results quickly with this oil. Um, okay, deep blue. Okay, I love deep blue. Um, have you ever tried this one? Mm -hmm. But this is what grandma uses a lot too. She okay. uses this one in the rub. Yeah, I've seen the lotion. Yeah. Thing, or the rub. There's this, it comes in the lotion, also a supplement, the Deep Blue Polyphenol Complex, but this is this just like the oil, and so my kids are in sports, so Grace was suffering from shin splints, and I think I can say that, it's a compliant, I'm trying to be compliant here, um, so she was in some pain, right, and so I just was putting this, or the rub, I actually like the rub a little bit better than this, because I feel like it's just stronger for some reason, but um, you can put this on straight or diluted with coconut oil, but if you have 
any kind of pain there. And now that I'm pregnant, I get like hip flexor pain like right here. And so you can just put it like right there, um, like right on your hip and take a bath with it. Like if you, if you are like muscles really need it. So those are our top ways of using it. And then my grandma has a lot of inflammation on her legs because she has like a lot of health issues. And so she uses the frankincense. My papa rubs it on her feet. She uses the lotion on her legs and takes the deep blue supplement. And that's like, I gave her, she needs to be doing a lot more than that. But you know, when you're older and you're, you're like trying to take care of yourself, three things are like a good thing to stick to. So she's been sticking to that for like a year with good results. Oh, and that reminds me, so I just wanna say one more thing about the tea tree. Um, one of the people in our family, I don't wanna say in case they were feel bad about it, but they were suffering from something that you get on your feet when you're an athlete. <laughs> I'm just talking to you about that. I don't know if that's compliant, but anyway, um, they were freaking out and so we did straight tea tree on their feet like three or four times a day and then within a couple of days it was gone. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, sometimes you need something that quick, like that works. And I showed this person like Google image search of what, like, what happens if you don't treat it and it was like really bad. So I'm like, just do this three or four times a day, you will not turn into that. And then they did it every day and it was gone. I was gonna gone. ask if like that would help like people with like eczema or no, or do you not know? Oh, with eczema, oh my gosh, that's a whole other thing because... That's like a... Um, that's like a... Well, that you need to heal or work on, right, from yeah, the inside, inside out. out. Not like, it's not just... Like Lavender, melocca, frankincense, coconut oil, and I'm not going to like diagnose or treat, but you know, you'd have to like look at removing dairy, removing gluten, there's a whole bunch, everyone reacts differently oh, to that, so, but we have a book that I'm going to show you how to look everything up okay. in an app. Okay, um, what's the next one? Uh, I'm just going in line. Digest Sun. Okay, I love Digest Sun. And this is the one um, most people also start with because it gets instant results. So Digest Zen is all things digestion. Okay, so any um, bloating, gas, um, like IBS, like any kind of issues that someone's having, you literally just, there's a couple ways to do it, but one way you just put drop it right on your belly and rub it in. The one one thing with oils is you can put them on the bottom of your feet. So put them on your bottom of your feet if you don't know what to do with them, or you actually can just spot treat wherever you want to go. Mm -hmm. So digestion, right where you're mm -hmm. having that issue, right? So right in the belly. Um, coconut oil, it's always best to dilute with coconut oil and it will make your oils last longer because you're using less cranes or they're concentrated already. But one or two drops in the belly, rub it in. You can use this if you're having problems daily or let's say you eat something like, I had yeah, cheesecake at the party. <laughs> I should have used this. Um, or if you're going to a restaurant and you're like eating food that you don't really eat I or- eat, like gluten, I always feel like I have some sort of issue. Right, so then yeah. just keep this in your purse or the roller, you can make your own roller too. Um, oh, so I'm giving her roller bottles that she could take home too. So you could you could buy the touch kit from doTERRA or make your own and then you just put in like, you know, 10 to 20 drops in your 10 mil and then um, make your own roller bottle you can keep in your purse. This one, okay, so this one I wanna talk about specifically because my, my other sister-in-law is pregnant and getting heartburn and I said, take your digest, digest then and put a drop or two on your chest um, because that will help break up all of that acid and it, it like helps immediately. So I don't actually get any um, heartburn. I'm not like in that stage yet, or maybe I won't get it at all. But other women have said that they swear by this with their um, their heartburn. Okay, so digestion here, and the other thing that this this is like an oil. Like we don't, I don't have an issue. Like I don't take this every day, just as needed. But this is again one of those oils, kind of like all the oils. When you need it, you need it. And so if you get like a any kind of sinus issue, right? Um, the weird thing is like, I I was suffering last year from something with my nose where I could not like breathe. Okay. I was using breathe, I was diffusing breathe, I was doing all the things and it wasn't until I put Digestin right on the bridge of my nose and like within 30 seconds, I could actually take a 
deep breath. Oh. And it was like amazing. Like you're running and then you're breathing. It's just when you're in that situation, it's amazing. So um, this can do other things besides um, just your, your digestive issues. But a good way to take it is rubbing it in your belly. If you like the taste, you can put a drop in your water. It has like fennel in it, so it tastes like a black licorice. So some people like it, some people don't. Or you could take it in a veggie cap. You could take all of these in a veggie cap except for um, deep blue. So you have a safety cap. You will never take this internally. Okay, so if you guys can see it, there's a safety cap because you cannot take this internally. Okay, last one, on guard. This is the protective blend. So this is the, uh, have you smelled this one? Do you, have you? I don't know if I ever have. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It smells like fall. Doesn't it smell amazing? Yeah. Like this is the one you you like you diffuse from like October, September, October, November, then you switch to holiday joy and then you go to <laughs> actually no yeah, Dan told me you're diffusing your Christmas one. Right, so it yeah. It's so good. It is. So I'm diffusing holiday joy right now. Um like this whole summer, even though what month are we in? We're in August now. But the holiday joy you just never get sick of. But anyway. <laughs> Um, this is protective blend. So this is the one, it will like purify your air all like 24 seven, like as you, as you diffuse it. So it helps with any kind of germs going in your home. Um, you can actually like put this in a pie or bake with it. Um, let's see if you feel like you're coming. What's in it like? Okay. I was going to say also if you're coming under the weather, um, putting it like around the spine or putting it on the bottom of your feet will like help protect you. And she's also a preschool teacher, so this is one that you're gonna wanna put on like oh every day that you're around all those kids. Yeah, I think like this past <laughs> spring semester, I think I was sick like five times. Right, okay. <laughs> so you need this in your life. Um, I don't know if they'll let you diffuse at school, so I don't know if, you're, if they will let you do that or not, but um, keep this in your purse and put it on the back of your back or on your feet or just, keep like sniffing it out of the bottle <laughs> so you don't get sick. Um, so in here, where is it here? Um, it has wild orange, clove bud, cinnamon leaf, I was gonna say cinnamon, cinnamon bark, yep, eucalyptus and rosemary. So it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it really does work. It works like amazingly. Okay, so to wrap this up, those are the top 10 oils. So like, we could talk about oils all day, obviously. So we'll try to like wrap this up. So what I also, what also will come with your kit would be this doTERRA essentials. So this is, um, comes in all the kits. Okay. And basically it has information on the oils getting started. I always say to new people, look through it. It has essential oil application, essential oil safety, like be your best advocate, like for yourself, like make sure you learn the oils. And I say when your first month, okay. Um, before you start ordering all the other products, get to know your top 10 oils. Use these. I say like when someone gets their oils for the first day, drink lemon water. So put some lemon in your water, take a lavender bath at night, and then diffuse either on guard or breathe during the day. And that will give you three things to get started on. And then you can like do that for a week and then add another oil in and just try all the top 10 oils out first. You're not going to use all of them every day. Um, and then you can read about each oil in here. So you're going to learn even more like where it's sourced, how to use it, um, different ways of using it. So it has every oil, it has all your stickers. So you can put the stickers on all your bottles and be super cute. She's like the cutest. She, she's going to be like so organized. And then it has the other products too. So you can just see like, oh, what's everything? And then you take notes. And, and oh, also the important thing is a lot of people don't realize this, but if you go to the end of the book, there's a 30 day cleanse. Okay, and this is, you would like this. They, they um, go through, what do you do for the 30 days? Okay, so with all the stuff. So I'm, we're not gonna go through that now. I'm but I'm a total like, newbie. I'm just gonna help me. Yeah, so this has everything. <laughs> Um, the other thing that, that I like to gift to my new customers is the Essential Life book. This book, and you probably have seen me talk about it before. This has, I'm not going to go through every single thing because I don't want to overwhelm you, but basically you need to know the, the front of the book. If you have a hangover, which you would never get, but that was what we came to first, her hand, mouth, foot disease, her whatever, head lice. Um, it will tell you what oil to use 
the top five oils, but how to use them and in what order. And a lot of the oils. That's good. I was going to ask you what they have for like hair. Okay, yeah. So she also does hair. So they have, you have dry hair, hair loss, oily hair. What are the best things and how to do them? Um, and then you can go to the page. So like it says to learn more, to go to page 264. And it's going to tell you all about the hair. So there's DIY recipes. There's cooked like food recipes. All about hair, nails, and skin, which would be like your, yeah. like, you know, your kind of niche. Um, what to do with them, lavender, sandalwood, geranium, frankincense, helichrysum. Oh, that's good. We were just talking about that. Yeah. It's good for scarring, too, for the face. Anyway, so, um, and then the last thing is that you get one of those. And then I also like to give many customers a small version of this. So you can actually keep it with you in your room, or your purse, or at school, where you just want a quick version of what do I do? I'm bleeding. I have a cyst. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Getting nose, I'm getting night sweats, whatever. So there's that for you. And then I give a couple samples. So this is a deep blue, this is the rub that I was talking about. So, oh, um, this rub, I forgot to say, menstrual cramps. It's amazing. Oh. Men keep this in your purse, and if you get a menstrual cramp, you rub it right on, and it like it takes care of it right away. Our truth face is awesome, it's whitening, and it has on guard in it, and you know, a lot of germs start in the mouth, and so, like we are obsessed with this. This is toothpaste. Here's a slim and sassy gum. Ooh. So if you like the tea, you're gonna like the gum, and you just chew on this. No, I, Rochelle hates the like the taste of slim and sassy. Right. I like it. Yeah. When I first um, heard of slim and sassy, she had already used it before. She's like, it's the grossest thing I've ever tasted. So I had this like, I was like gearing up to trying it that I had thought it was gonna be so bad, but because I thought it was gonna be so bad, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Good. But now I actually like it. And then, so here's the gum. And then we have a ginger drop. So this is good for when you eat the gluten or digestion. Mm -hmm. Ginger drop for you. An on guard drop. So like it's kind of like a good, not a cough drop, but it's like good for just to suck on for your throat, you know? And then a breathe drop. And this will like open up the airways. Oh, it's good thanks. if you're like getting any respiratory issues. So anyway, nice. that is it. Thank you. Do you have Thank any questions? Is that, sure that's that's enough for now. Yeah, we've been talking for oil now. all day. We've been doing, we've been like innovative with oils. So <laughs> anyway, I just thought it'd be fun to share this with you guys. And this is what I would do like kind of like with a new customer if they were here in my house. And then um, that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and let's see if I could, uh, let's see, I will go through the questions later and I'll answer them. All right, bye guys. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs>